Hey guys and welcome back to the TC Games Daily Origami Series. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this rose basket, which looks like this. And it's not the sturdiest box because it does tend to unfurl, but it does look nice and you can put in some nice treat or something like that in there and give it to your uh, valentine for example. And it's made using one sheet of square paper, so a 6 inch by 6 inch sheet gives you the small size here. So if you do want a bigger box then you'll have to use a bigger sheet of paper. And also if you want to make it a lot sturdier, what you can do is you can go in and you can glue these corners into the side here so that it becomes a nice sturdy box. And it's really up to you how you want to shape it up and put it together, but uh, I would also recommend using thicker paper so that everything basically stays in place even if you don't use uh, glue or some sort of sealing material like that. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make this. Okay, so for this model you're going to need a square sheet of paper and we're going to start with the color side facing down like this. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fold it so that this side edge aligns with this side edge. But when we do so, we don't want to crease it in completely. Instead, we're just going to go ahead and mark the halfway point by pinching the corner here. And you'll want to do the same thing on the bottom part here. Just pinch that corner in. Unfold it. Now we're going to fold this edge to that pinch we just made right in the center like that and once again just pinch that corner in do the same thing on this side just pinch it in so that we can mark that uh, point there do the same thing on this side fold it to the center and pinch it in on the top and also on the bottom now we're going to turn it sideways and we're going to do the same thing. So fold this uh, so that this edge aligns with this edge and it uh, folds in half like that. Pinch it in on the top and pinch it on the bottom. Now we're going to fold it so that this side edge meets the center and we're going to pinch it in. And do the same thing on this side here. Pinch it in on the top and on the bottom. Unfold it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to any one of these corners, the side edge, and we're going to fold it so that this side edge meets the furthermost pinch we made here. So it should be the third one from the right. And we're just going to fold it to that mark, like this. This time we want to crease it in nicely, all the way through unfold it, turn it once, repeat the same things, fold it so that this edge meets that third pinch we just made, like this, crease it in, unfold it, turn it once more, and we want to fold it to that last pinch mark right there. I'm going to define it a bit more so that you can see it. As you can see, there's the first pinch mark there, the second one is over there, and the third one is over there. So we're going to fold it to the third one. And then crease it in. Unfold it. Turn it, and finally do it on this side. So again, we're going to fold it to that third pinch we made. And then crease it in. And if it's done right, you should get a small box in the center like this. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put in some diagonal creases that go from the edge of the little square in the center all the way to the tip here. So we're going to fold this diagonally so that basically this top edge aligns with the side edge like this. And what you'll notice now is that there's going to be a little triangle in the center here. You don't want to crease that in. You want to go to the edge of that triangle right here, crease that in to the end, and then go to the left of that little triangle right there, and then crease from the edge of that triangle all the way to the end on the left side. Like this, and like this. And if you unfold it, you'll notice that the 
crease should be going from this tip here to this tip and this tip to this tip. And you'll want to do the same thing on this side. So we're going to fold it diagonally again so that we end up with a crease that goes from this tip to this tip and this tip to this tip. So fold it so that this top edge aligns with the left side this time. Like that. And again, just flatten it a bit. Find the tip of that triangular part in the center. And then crease from there to this edge here. Like that. And do the same thing on this side. So we just want to crease that in. And now unfold it. And you shouldn't have any creases in the center square there, at least not any hard ones. And all your creases should be on the edges here. Once you've got this, now we're going to fold it so that the bottom edge here aligns with the edge of the square right here. Like this. And you'll want to crease this in. Unfold it. Turn it sideways and do the same thing. So fold it so that this edge meets that edge of the square in the center. Crease it in. Do the same thing on this side. Unfold it. And finally do the same thing on this last side here. And you should now get a pattern like this. So now we're going to go to the tip here and we're basically going to pinch it together so that we get a little flap like this. So standing like that, just pinch it together. And basically what we're going to do is we're just going to push on this corner and this corner as well. And just push that down. And you should get this nice big flap that sticks up. And just allow that to fall down. So again it was like this. We pinched the corners and then we pulled these two flaps down. Then we're going to go to the next corner here and we're basically going to pull this flap up like this so that it folds along this first crease. And then we're going to grab this tip and just pull that out. And we're going to take this tip and we're going to fold it so that it faces this way to the right. And we basically want to get a pinwheel design with all these flaps so it should be going in a counterclockwise motion. So we're going to go to this side here. Again we just want to raise this flap along that first crease there like this. Grab this tip and pull it out. And you might want to raise this one so that it doesn't affect the fold here. And again we're just going to smoothen it out so that it creates a tip and then flatten this down. And as you can see it's still going in a counterclockwise direction. And finally go to this side here, fold this down, and this tip's facing the wrong way so just grab it, pull it out, and pop it out like that. And as you can see we created a bit of a pinwheel design. Once you've got this shape, just crease everything into place for good measure. Like that. And now we're basically going to fold it so that it folds along the edge of the square here. But we're going to fold it upwards so that it should fold right along the edge there, like this. And once you've got this, you're going to end up with this little triangle to the left here, if you can see that. So basically what we're going to do is, we're going to hold it past that triangle, so the, past this crease right here, so we're going to hold it here. We're going to grab this flap, and we're going to pinch it in so that it folds, so that this uh, crease here on that triangle becomes a mountain fold, and this crease becomes a valley fold. So you're just going to pinch that like this, and you want to pull this so that this edge goes all the way down there. So just pull this all the way down, like that. And the little triangular part that I showed you earlier is going to tend to fold inwards like that. Allow it to do so by pinching the corners and flattening everything into place. Just like that. 
and you'll have to do that all the way around so I'll show you again go to this side here fold this out like so right along the edge of that square and again you're going to end up with that little triangle there you're going to grab it here grab this and then pull it down repeat the same thing on the third side here so fold this up hold it here grab the flap bring it down and then pinch everything into place and finally we're going to do the same thing here so fold this up grab this flap pull it down and just pinch it into place once it's all properly aligned like this and then just go back and make sure everything is folded like it should be so like that and it is going to tend to uncurl the first few times so you're going to have to adjust it and once you've held all of it in place just go to these corners here and pinch it together like this so that it stays in place a little bit better and it also defines the corner of the box you don't have to pinch it too hard just a light pinch like that and as you'll notice now there are these tips on the outside of the box what we're going to do is we're either going to take a pencil or something thin or you can even use a plier like I'm going to and just grab the tip here and you really want to curl this out and that's basically going to act as a locking mechanism because it's going to grab two of these layers and put them together so just go ahead and curl it as much as possible like that and at the same time it's also going to shape up the box so I'm going to curl it like that and you want to make sure it also retains the shape of the box as you do so so allow that to curl out and then do the same thing on the sides so curl this out a bit like that now we're going to go to this flap here and then we're going to curl this out like that And finally we have this flap which we're going to curl in. And then just start pushing the inside parts to the edge, like that. And slowly shape it up. And then keep curling the corners in. And once you've done all that, you should end up with a loose box like this. It's not going to be very sturdy or anything like that. But you should have this little uh, area in the center where you can put in something like a candy or a little present if you'd like. And uh, I would highly recommend using thicker paper for this so that everything stays in place. And so that when you curl this, it basically becomes nice and stiff. But since I've used uh, thinner origami paper, it's going to tend to span out like this. And it should be fine as long as you're not planning to put in anything too heavy or something that's going to basically fold it out. So uh, that's really all there is to it. If you liked the video, don't forget to rate and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.